From Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass., this is NEPSAC Football on Local Sports Productions. Today, the Lawrence Academy Spartans with a record of 2-0, 1-0 in the ISL. Host the Milton Academy Mustangs with a record of 2-0, 2-0 in the ISL. Good morning, everybody. Don't hear that often on an LSP broadcast. I'm Sam Feely, ready to bring you the play-by-play -play story on a gorgeous fall morning in Central Mass. The Spartans are looking to win a third consecutive NEPSAC Bowl game and are off to a good start on that quest with wins over Cheshire, the team they beat in last year's Wayne Sanborn Bowl, and Governors. Meanwhile, the Mustangs are looking to make a statement for the postseason themselves, already defeating two league opponents in Roxbury, Latin, and Brooks by a combined score of 76-33. to but all eyes will be on L.A.'s star senior running back A.J. Dillon today. It's been uh, pretty much the focal point of the L.A. offense since he stepped on campus here in Groton. He's a verbal commit to Michigan, and we'll see if he'll have another performance to make John Harbaugh proud today. L.A. in uh, the navy blue jerseys and pants with white helmets and white numbers. Melton Academy in the white jerseys, navy blue pants, and navy blue helmets with orange numbers and navy blue and orange trim. Glenn Smith, Sharon Daly-Harris, among the, A.J. Dillon among the captains for L.A. L.A. has won the toss, and they will receive the opening kickoff, and they will go left to right. So Sharon Daly Harris whooping up his boys before they get set to receive the opening kickoff. Before the game during warm-ups, I heard from up here uh, as they went into the locker room before their last words from Coach Zakoskis. They, they broke the huddle with something along the lines of 1, 2, 3, Spartans, 4, 5, 6, Family, 7, 8, 9, Harambe. <sighs> the memes cannot be stopped. So, again, L.A. going left to right to start this ball game. And on to kick the ball away for Milton Academy. Let's go, Milton! Trying to see a jersey number for here. There it is, number 24, Min Q Park. He's from South Korea. He is a senior. And the Mustangs recently sent a uh, kicker to Notre Dame a couple years ago, Justin Yoon. Park kicks the ball away. Clock is sent to 12 minutes. It is a booming drive that's going to be fielded by Sharon Daly Harris. Two yards deep in his own end zone. He's going to go out of the end zone and not even get to the 20. Stop short at the 19. So that will be where the Spartans offense starts its first drive today. Turn of about 21 yards for Daly Harris. Beautiful day, partly cloudy, and Glenn Smith, the senior, saying just 5'8 in the shotgun, and the L.A. offense will go into a shift here and fake the sweep handoff. It's going to be Smith on the near side across the 30, 35. A little slow picking up the Jets. I guess he was trying to get around some blocks and some tackles, but he gets a good gain out to close to the 40-yard line. They'll spot the ball exactly at the 40. It's a gain of 22 on the first play for Glenn Smith. Smith will work in the shotgun with one wide out to the far side left, two to the near side right. Man in motion to the far side left. That's Cam Reddy. And we have a whistle. And do we have a flag before the snap? And it is a flag before the snap. It's going to be a false start on Lawrence Academy. That'll back him up five yards. 
And that'll make it first and 15. Sharon Daly-Harris bringing in the play from the sideline and Coach Paul Zikoskis. So Smith in the shotgun. Bunch wide receivers to the far side left. Only one to the near side right. It's going to be Smith taking the snap himself, running it off tackle and getting tripped up in the backfield. There to make the stop for Milton Academy, number 74, Owen Burke. Junior out of Milton proper. And it'll be second and 16 on a loss of one. Spread offense, but not really the up-tempo spread offense that you typically see. And now we have a quarterback change as freshman Brady Martin from Lemonster, Mass. Is under center. Hands off to Dillon. Dillon trying to bounce out of a couple of tackles down the near sideline. and Just gets back to the 35 for a gain of one. So it'll be third and 15 for the Spartans. Brady Martin, again, freshman. 5'11", 170 out of Lemonster, Mass. Not far from here. And he's going to come back into the formation with the play from the sideline. Smith is now split out as a wide receiver to the far side left. All three wideouts to the left. Martin in the shotgun with Dillon. Looks left. Is under pressure. And he's going to be sacked. And making the sack for the Mustangs is John Zarniak, junior out of Halifax, Mass. It pins them back to the 20, a little disagreeing from the officials, to the 20, uh, the 30 yard line, a loss of five. And it'll be fourth and 20, and that'll force the Spartans to punt. Back deep to receive is Kyle Santiago for the Mustangs. A botch snap, the punt is away miraculously, and it's gonna take a Lawrence Academy bounce, a short one though, and it'll be down at the 34 yard line. So a 36 yard punt that was nearly blocked as Joseph Lachetti had a, uh, had a hard time fielding that ball on the snap. And here come the Mustangs for their first offensive possession. Two wideouts to either side. Shotgun snap to Alec Beesmer, and he's wrapped up in the backfield at the 30-yard line. A loss of four. And on the stop there for Lawrence Academy was Peter Bryant, Jr. out of Ayer, Mass. And I'll mark it back at the 31. It was a loss of three, and it'll be second and 13. Two wideouts to the near side left, one to the far side right. Pistol formation for Beesmer. Takes the snap, looks left, fires, and it's intercepted right into the hands of the linebacker, number 50, Tom Zaleski. Beesmer was looking right at Zaleski. I don't know if he thought his receiver was going to come back to the ball, but it was tailor-made for Zaleski, and he returns it to the Milton 28. So, great field position for the Spartans. As it'll be Martin... Under center, two wideouts to the near side right. Handoff is to Dillon. Bounces off guard. Now gets outside across the 25, close to the 20. A good gain there for Dillon. And they'll mark him down at the 20-yard line. Uh, yes, the 20-yard line. It's a gain of eight. And it'll be second and two. You can't get a much easier interception than that. 
the one that Beesmer threw. He was looking left all the time, and they just made eye contact with Zaleski, and he just threw it right into, right into uh, the 5-0 and zero between his... Uh, on his jersey, and we have a fumble on the pitch from Martin to Dillon, and it is, they say it's recovered by Milton. Paul Zakoskis and A.J. Dillon say that Dillon got his hands on it, but to no avail. A fumble and a loss of five will give the ball right back to the Mustangs at the 25-yard line. Owen Burke on the fumble recovery for the Mustangs. And now first and ten, handoff up the middle. Churning forward is Michael Silva for Milton, and he gets to the 29 for a gain of four. That was just a... Bad toss on the pitch to Dillon. No forced fumble or anything. There was Burke to recover it. So second and six for the Mustangs. Beesmer fires over the middle, and it is too far intended for his receiver, Frederick Okido. A Chicago native, and it'll be third and six. So that's our first pass attempt of the day, and it's incomplete. Two deep safeties here for the Spartans, and two wideouts to the far side right, and one to the near side left as we're at 7-11 to go here in the first quarter. Beesmer claps his hands, fakes the handoff, rolls left, trying to get over some defenders, and nearly throws another interception, this time to Glenn Smith. But Smith only broke it up before Marcus Falcone, a, so a sophomore wide receiver from Canton, Mass., could make the catch for Milton. So it's three and out for the Mustangs, so much for the fumble recovery. So both teams squandering an opportunity to take advantage of an easy turnover. First punt of the day for the Mustangs, and it comes off the... Right foot of Min Q Park. Park boots it, and Daly Harris waves off his teammates, and it's going to die and just roll parallel across the 44 yard line of Lawrence Academy. A kick of just 27 yards. So 6.54 to go in the first quarter. We got a good one between two undefeated teams in the ISL. LA nothing, Milton nothing. This is Nepsack Football on Local Sports Productions. It'll be Martin in the shotgun with three wideouts to the near side right. The pitch to Dillon, nearly the same play as the last time near which he fumbled on. And Dillon gets across the 45 to the 40 and the 39-yard line of Milton Academy on a pitch. It's a pickup of 17 yards for A.J. Dillon, and it's first and 10. For the Spartans. 6.45 as the clock was stopped as Dillon got out of bounds. On the 39 of Milton Academy. Martin again in the shotgun. He's got Dill uh, Dillon to his left. Two wideouts to the far side left. And they'll go on an end around to Maurice Works. Works working out of some tackles. And tried to and juked himself out of his own shoes as he tried to get away from the last tackler at about the 31-yard line and fell backwards to the 32, and that'll be a first down. 
a pickup of uh, the, it's not the 32, excuse me, the 27, a pickup of 12 for number 89, Maurice Works. One of the stars on the basketball team as well. A few basketball players on this Lawrence Academy football team. Bunch formation to the left, one wide out to the near side right. It's going to be Smith in the shotgun, and he'll run off tackle across the 25 and will be dropped at about the 22-yard line for a pickup of five. So three carries, 26 yards for Glenn Smith to start his day as we're under six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Advertising opportunities are available on local sports productions. Get your company's message on air or on at localsportsproductions.com for as little well as $25 per ad. In addition, a portion of all advertising revenue will be donated to a different cause, charity, or organization each month. Pistol formation here for the Spartans, and now they shift, and it's going to be an illegal shift, likely, on the Spartans, and yet it's a legal motion as too many guys were moving at the same time there before they were set, so that'll knock them back five yards and make it second and ten. October's beneficiary is the Luskarten Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash advertising or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. Second and ten after the five-yard penalty to the Spartans. And... Smith fakes the handoff to the right, now goes left, across the 20, close to the 16-yard line, uh, the 17-yard line, the line to gain for the first down, and they'll give it to him. And they're actually going to mark him down at the 16, not the uh, 15, uh, 17, so it's a gain of 11 for Smith. Had some good gains there out of the shotgun. First and 10 from the 16-yard line of Milton Academy. Now it's Martin under setter. Hands it off to Dillon across the 15 and tripped up at the 10-yard line before he can get into the second level and the end zone. <coughs> good tackle there on the play by Tristan Manuel of Milton Academy. It's a pickup of six and it'll be second and four. Five carries, 27 yards for Dillon thus far. In the red zone are the Spartans for the first time today. Second and four from the 10. It's a pitch to Dillon, and he trips himself up back at the 15-yard line. These sort of side tosses, like it's not your typical pitch. Like, there's a little bit of funkiness to Martin's delivery of the actual pitch out to Dylan, and they haven't been working out very well. Something is not clicking between the freshman Martin and the senior Dylan. It's a loss of five for Dylan, his second five yard loss of the ball game, and it'll be third and nine. In the shotgun is Martin with Dylan to his right. Now he just hands it off to Dylan. He'll plow straight ahead, close to the five yard line, and he's got a first down at the four. Just hand it off to him. Don't worry about the pitches. A 12 yard pickup on third and nine for the Spartans. First and goal at the four. And this is probably the situation where you just hand it up to hand it off to uh, Dylan up the middle and let him walk into the end zone. He can carry, and it's going to be Dylan actually taking the shotgun snap off tackle, hurdles over a pile of tacklers for the touchdown. <laughs> Getting a little ha hang time there was AJ Dylan for the four-yard touchdown rush, and the Spartans are on the board first with 2:56 to go here in the first quarter. It'll be Anthony Mastrangelo to attempt the extra point for the Spartans out of the hold of Sharon Daly-Harris. Snap is high. Daly-Harris takes the ball, rolls right, and he's going to get to the end zone for the two-point conversion. Yeah. 
So Sharon Daly Harris, after a high snap, makes something out of it, and he and with 2:56 to go here in the first quarter, Lawrence Academy eight, Milton nothing. This is Nepsack football on local sports productions. Want LSP the taper broadcast your team's games? Rates start at just $50 per game. Video broadcasts also available. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash services or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. So Mastrangelo, the junior kicker out of Shirley, Mass, will kick it deep. Big guy for a kicker, 5'11", 217. And, of course, the cult hero Joey Julius at Penn State, whose uniforms look a lot like Lawrence Academy, except L.A. wears the navy blue pants along with the navy blue tops, and Penn State just wears white pants. Kick is away, and it's going to be fielded at about the 13-yard line by Greg Livington. Livington dances across the 25 and is stopped about there. And I'll mark it down to the 26. It's a 13-yard return for Livingston. And here we go with the Mustang offense tra trailing 8-0 with 2.49 to go in the first quarter. Setting up shop at their 26. Beesmer in the, sh in the pistol with two wideouts to his left. Fakes the handoff to Livingston, and then hands off left tackle to Silva, and Silva gets to about the 30-yard line for a gain of four. There have been five plays run by the Milton Academy offense. Two four-yard gains by Livingston. Uh, by Silva, rather. A three-yard sack of Beesmer. An incomplete pass and an interception by Beesmer. And this pass is batted down on the screen pass intended for Jalen Branch. And let's see, it looked like Jake Buzko, the senior, got his big old 6'4", 239 frame. It hit right off his chest. And that batted down the pass. So another incompletion for Beesmer, and it'll be third and ten. Uh, third and six, rather. At the 30-yard line, two wideouts to the far side right, one to the near side left, pistol formation for Beesmer with Silva behind him. And he takes the snap, rolls left, and he's going to tuck it and run. He's got a first down to the 40-yard line. And they'll mark him out at the 41, actually. So it's a pickup of 11. For Beesmer. And that is the first first down of the ball game for the Mustangs. Under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Two wide outs to the far side right, one to the near side left. Pistol formation again. Silva behind Beesmer. Man in motion to the far side right. They'll hand it off to that man in motion. It's Jalen Branch. He gets across the 45. Close to midfield. Dragging defenders. He'll be stood up shy of a first down at the 49 of Milton Academy. An eight-yard gain for Jalen Branch on the sweep. Buck 35 and counting here in the first quarter between the Lawrence Academy Spartans and the Milton Academy Mustangs. One of these teams will be 3-0 by the time this game is over. Beesmer takes the snap, hands off to Silva, trying to go off right tackle, and he's wrapped up in the backfield. Joe Lachetti 
leading the charge there for the Spartans to wrap up Silva in the backfield for a loss of two. Three carries, six yards for Silva, and it'll be third and four for the Mustangs. At the 47-yard line, And a little confusion for the Mustangs offense as to where the wide receivers are lining up. And now they line up three on the near side left, one to the far side right. Beesmer in the pistol, takes the snap, looks left, now rolls right. Looks like he's going to tuck it and run. Looks like he's got a first down across the 45 and across the 40. And he's hit hard out of bounds by Sharon Daly-Harris. He hit him in play and the hard hit forced him out of bounds. So no penalty or anything, but it is a huge gain for Beesmer, and it's another first down for the Mustangs. 15-yard pickup for Beesmer. After being sacked for three yards, he's picked up gains of 11 and 15 for first downs on this drive. First and 10 from the 37, uh, yes, the 38 of Lawrence Academy. Pistol formation, Beesmer looks right, now looks left, fires low at the feet of Silva, realizing he wasn't going to be able to complete a pass. And Silva, even if he did complete that, he was going to get eaten alive by Stephen Olive, who was standing right over him. Stephen Olive is 6'6", 240. Michael Silva is 5'9", 180. That would not be a pleasant feeling if, if uh, Silva caught that. Second and 10 from the 38 of LA. Third, 14 seconds, clock stopped. Two wide to the far side right, one to the near side left, pistol formation. Hand off up the middle to Silva, across the 35, 30, 25, dodges a tackle, 20, 15, out to the right side, and he will score for the touchdown. Dodge about three tackles there including Sharon Daly-Harris and Thomas Green, who got a mid on him, but unsuccessful to bring him down, just shifted right out of their grip, and that will end the first quarter after this extra point attempt. A 38-yard touchdown rush by Michael Silva, the senior captain out of Kingston, Mass. Park on to attempt the extra point. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. So after one quarter of play here at Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass., it is the Lawrence Academy Spartans 8 and the Milton Academy Mustangs 7. This is Knapsack Football on Local Sports Productions. You can follow LSP on the web at www.localsportsproductions.com, facebook.com slash localsportsproductions, and on Twitter at LSP37. So after three carries for six yards on his first three touches, Silva gets 38 and a touchdown on his fourth carry. He's now up to four carries and 44 yards. Leading rusher for the Spartans. Well, you got Glenn Smith who has four carries for 37 yards. And A.J. Dillon, who has eight carries for about the same total, but also has a touchdown. Three touches, 23 yards for Alec Beesmer. Has not completed a pass yet. One interception and two incompletions. One over the head of a receiver and one at the feet of a receiver. So... To start the second quarter, 12 minutes on the clock. Mustangs kicking left to right. And the kick is deep, and it will be fielded by Glenn Smith at about the five-yard line. Down, down to the near side, going right to left. Gets across a couple tackles, 35-40, 45-50, no flags yet! And he's across midfield to about the 47 of Milton Academy. A 48-yard kick return for Glenn Smith. So
So Brady Martin will start this, this series as the quarterback. Bring in the play from Paul Zakoskis. Neither team has called a timeout yet. 11.49 to go here in the second quarter. First offensive series of the second quarter for the Spartans. Martin in the shotgun with Dylan to his left. Fakes the handoff. Looks over the middle. Under pressure and he's going to be sacked. A huge loss there for Martin as the po pocket collapsed quickly. And John Zardiak of Milton picks up his second sack of the ball game. The loss brings L.A. back into their own territory at about the 46. It's a loss of seven, second and 17. Dylan is the quarterback of the Wildcat here in the shotgun. Will go off guard to the right side, across midfield to the 45 and to the 44-yard line. So he gets a good chunk of that yardage back but it's still going to be third and long. Third and seven after the gain of 10 by Dillon. Dillon will be in the Wildcat again in the shotgun. Two wideouts to the far side right. They're probably just going to be blocking here. Dillon takes a snap, goes left, gets a block across the 40, 35, 30. Still on his feet, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, A.J. Dillon. He was sprung on a huge block by Stephen Olive. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a 44-yard touchdown rush for Dillon, his second of the ball game. And that makes it 14-7 with the extra point pending. Stephen Olive made a huge block in the backfield that enabled Dylan to get even positive yardage there. And then he dodged a couple low tackles, good footwork. And now the extra point from Mistrangelo. Snap is down, kick is up. It's a low kick, but it is just over the crossbar and good. And with 10.20 to go in the second quarter, it is the Lawrence Academy Spartans 15. And the Milton Academy Mustangs 7. This is an EPSAC football on local sports productions. LSP's next broadcast is Saturday, October 22nd at 2.55 p.m. when the BBN Knights visit these same Lawrence Academy Spartans in EPSAC football action. Listen live at localsportsproductions.com slash live stream, then, the game the, then download or stream the game the next day at localsportsproductions.com slash on demand. That's right. LSP is making the shift to YouTube Live in the coming weeks for its broadcasts and its on-demand archives, although uh, we'll still have the MP3 downloads, but now you can access everything on YouTube in the near future. Mistrangelo kicking right to left. Kick is away. It's uh, going to bring back the receiver. Branch into the end zone. He takes a knee. It, uh, I think the wind got a hold of that. The wind is blowing to the left side of the field. And that took a more of a turn on Branch than I, th I think he thought it would have. And he takes a knee in the end zone. And the ball will be brought out to the 20-yard line where it will be first and 10. For the Mustangs. Last time the Mustangs had the ball, they converted two big third downs on rushes by the quarterback Alec Beesmer, then a 38-yard touchdown rush by Michael Silva. Here's Silva off right tackle, loses the ball, the ball is on the ground, and it is! Waiting for the signal from the officials. It is Lawrence Academy ball. A little bit of a delay. When, it, when they delay that long after the pile is clear, that usually indicates that the ball was recovered by the offense. 
So it's a five yard gain for Silva and then a fumble recovered by Lawrence Academy. So LA with great field position starting at the 25 yard line of the Mustangs. That was Stephen Olive again on the fumble recovery. Also popped the ball loose. Dylan in the shotgun, rolls left across the 25, and using his hands and feet to get a couple extra yards close to the 20. I'll mark him down at the 22. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second and seven. Pushed off the turf with his right hand to crawl forward to the 22 and make it second and seven. He's in the shotgun again. Man in motion to the near side left. It'll be a handoff to Daly Harris. Gets across the 20 with a man dragging him down by his shirt tail. That's Anthony Gallagher on the tackle across the 20 to the 18 yard line, uh, the 17 yard line. It's a pickup of five and it'll be third and two for the Spartans. So I think they found the winning formula. Who's gonna be the starting quarterback? It's your running back, A.J. Dillon. Dillon in the shotgun on third and two. He'll take it himself to the right side, needs to get to the 15 and it looks like he got there. The line judge is across the 15 and yes it is. Needed two, got exactly that and it's a first down. Inside the red zone are the Spartans for the second time. And Dylan will get a breather as Glenn Smith comes in to the fold for the play. And the 5'9 basketball and football star Smith will stand in the shotgun with two wideouts to the far side right. He takes a snap. It's a low snap. He fumbles it and falls on it before Milton can get to the ball, but he's knocked back to the 20-yard line, a loss of five. So a few fumbles here by both teams, but mostly Lawrence Academy. And we're going to have a timeout called by John Zakoskis. With 7.54 to go in the second quarter, it is the Lawrence Academy Spartans 15 and the Milton Academy Mustangs 7. This is Nepsack Football on Local Sports Productions. Advertising opportunities are available on Local Sports Productions. Get your company's message on air or on localsportsproductions.com for as little as $25 per ad. In addition, a portion of all advertising revenue will be donated to a different cause, charity, or organization each month. October's beneficiary is the Lust Garden Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash advertising or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. So out of the timeout will be second and 15 for the Spartans. And Brady Martin has come back onto the field. He's got Dylan to his left in the shotgun, two wide, three wide outs to the near side left. The pitch goes to Dylan across the 20, 15, 10, five touchdown! That kind of looked like an underhanded forward pass. A shovel pass, maybe, but I think it was intended as a rush for Dylan. So it'll go as a 20-yard touchdown rush. Dylan's third touchdown scamper of the first half, and it's 21-7 with the extra point pending. Mastrangelo on to attempt the extra point. Snap is down, kick is up, and it goes into the defensive line, but it's picked up by Daly Harris. He fumbles it, and falling on it well behind the line of scrimmage is James Miller 
of Lawrence Academy. So the extra point is no good, but with 7.45 to go in the second quarter, it is the Lawrence Academy Spartans 21 and the Milton Academy Mustangs 7. This is NEPSAC Football on Local Sports Productions. Want LSP to taper broadcast your team's games? Rates start at just $50 per game. Video broadcasts also available. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash services or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. Mastrangelo to kick it deep with three men back deep to receive. For Milton Academy, that's top to bottom across the goal line. Branch, Silva, and Frederick Okito. This is a short kick that's going to be fielded by one of the upbacks at the 25-yard line. He's swallowed up immediately by Sharon Daly-Harris. That was Justin Green fielding the kick, a freshman out of Norwell, Mass. But nowhere to go, and it'll be the 25-yard line where Milton Academy will start their next drive. By the way, A.J. Dillon is already over 100 yards rushing, 13 carries, 117 yards, and three touchdowns. Beesmer in the shotgun. With Silva to his right, spins away from one tackle and barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. A.J. Dillon has outgained the entire Milton Academy offense to this point. Two wide outs to the near side right, one to the far side left. Beesmer in the shotgun with Silva the lone setback. Beesmer takes the shotgun snap, looks right, now looks left, and now's going to try and run outside the pocket. There might be a hold here. No call. As it looked like Buzzco was getting held pretty good there by Alan Rapley. Alan Rapelier, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The senior captain out of Millbrook, New York. He was getting held pretty good as he was uh, trying to get to Beesmer down at about the 15-yard line. He was being held at the 20 when Beesmer threw that from the 15. So third and 10 for the Mustangs from their own 25-yard line. Two wide outs on the near side right, one on the far side left. Man in motion across the formation. Fake the handoff, fake the throw over the middle. Beesmer will get close to the 30-yard line, but he is wrapped up by Peter Bryan. And look who's doing work on the defensive end, too, A.J. Dillon. It's a pickup of four, but once again, the Mustangs will be forced to punt. Back deep to receive the kick from Park is Sharon Daly-Harris as the clock is running at 624 and counting here in the second quarter. Park takes the snap, kicks it high and short, and it's going to take a Lawrence Academy bounce and slow to react are the Mustangs. They field it at the LA 47. So once again, great starting field position for the Spartans with 6.08 to go in the first half. LA 21, Milton 7. This is NEPSAC Football on Local Sports Productions. You can follow LSP on the web at www.localsportsproductions.com, facebook.com slash localsportsproductions, and on Twitter at LSP37. You can also follow me and my misadventures in media and other, other uh, things in my life. As the ball's marked at the 46, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Sam Feely PBP. Making some moves out of the shotgun and getting across, across midfield and taking a huge shot to the head is Brady Martin. He gets up. He's okay. He gets a good chunk of yardage, though. It's a pickup of 5 to the 49 of Milton Academy. 
First positive yardage play for Martin. After losses of five and seven on his first two touches. Granted, those were sacks. Second and five inside Milton territory at the 49. Martin under center, hands off to Dillon, goes off left guard, and trying to churn his legs forward. Looked like he was going to be stopped at the 48, gets three extra yards to the Milton 45. So it'll be third and one on the gain of four by Dillon. And here comes Martin back to the huddle with the play from Paul Zakoskis. I'm pretty sure this is going to Dillon here. In a short yard situation, third and one. Shotgun snap, hand off to Dillon across 45. He's got the first down. He's still churning his legs close to the 40. He'll be stopped at the 41 for a gain of five, uh, gain of four rather, and it's another first down for the Spartans. Clock rolling at about four and a half to go here in the first half. It's Martin in the shotgun with a bunch of wide receivers to the near side left and a handoff to Glenn Smith, the lone setback. Tries to get it across the 49, he does to the 40, to the 39. A pickup of two for Smith. And it'll be second and eight. Under four minutes to go. Lawrence Academy, you know, both, despite both these teams being 2-0 entering play, looks like LA's just on another level, and it's hard not to be when you got someone like Dylan in the backfield. Uh, he gets another breather here, and it's going to be eye formation with Martin in front of Buzzco in front of Smith. They'll pitch outside to Smith across the 40 to the 35, dodges a couple tackles across the 30-yard line for a first down. Brought down at the 29-yard line after a gain of 10. That's Smith's third carry of at least 10 yards. The first one on the first play from scrimmage for 22 yards. It was kind of, a, it looked like the play was going in slow motion. So it was hard to get excited for a play like that, even though it was a 22-yard gain. Like he kind of like was churning his legs and not really moving as fast as he usually does, trying to dodge tackles and get around blocks, but still picked up 22 yards on that first carry of the ball game. Has 10 here, and now it's Martin in the shotgun looking left, and it's incomplete. Not sure who the intended receiver was there. I think Dylan was the lone eligible receiver, but he got tripped up maybe by his own lineman. So an incomplete pass for Martin. That's actually the first pass attempt for the Spartans today. Between the two quarterbacks, no completions and one interception. Second and 10 from the 29, clock stopped at 2.45. Martin in the shotgun with Dillon to his left. Takes the snap, hands off to Dillon, across the 20, uh, 30 to the 25, and gets close to the 20-yard line. And they'll mark him down at the 21 after a gain of eight to make it third and two. I'm going to run out of room on my stat sheet for Dillon's carries. Third and two, and it's going to be Dillon in the Wildcat. Two wideouts to the far side right. Well, one of them is a linebacker. He goes left, gets a block across the 20, 15, 10. Trucks through a defender inside the five. Oh, that's got to hurt. He just barreled through both John Zarniak and Alan Rapelier.
Inside the five to the four. On a pickup of 17 for the Michigan commit Dillon. And he's in the Wildcat again. <clears throat> Takes the snap. Goes off guard. And it looks like he did not get there. May have gotten a yard to the three. And he did. So it'll be second and goal from the three. Under two minutes to go. And we have a timeout called by Lawrence Academy with 1.37 to go in the first half. And L.A. knocking on the doorstep. L.A. 21, Milton 7. This is NEPSAC football on local sports productions. LSP's next broadcast is Saturday, October 22nd at 2.55 p.m. when the BBNN Knights visit these same Lawrence Academy Spartans in NEPSAC football action. Listen live at localsportsproductions.com slash livestream, then download or stream the game the next day at localsportsproductions.com slash on demand. So 1.37 to go here in the first half. A.J. Dillon... Over 100 yards on 18 carries. Already has three touchdowns. All three touchdowns that L.A. has scored. And looking for a fourth here. So in this Wildcat formation, you have a you have Tom Zaleski as an eligible receiver out to the right side. Dylan again in the Wildcat takes the snap, goes left side, and he dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Stretching out with the left hand and the ball in said hand, and he picks up his fourth score of the ball game to make it 27 to seven with 1:31 left in the first half. Mastrangelo on to attempt the extra point. John, how are you? Good. Out of the hold of Daly Harris. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is shanked right. It's fielded in the end zone by Milton Academy, and they will be tackled there. And that will result in another missed extra point for Mastrangelo. But with 1.31 to go in the first half, it's LA 27, Milton 7. This is NEPSAC football on local sports productions. Advertising opportunities are available on LSP. Get your company's message on air or on localsportsproductions.com for as little as $25 per ad. <laughs> In addition, a portion of all advertising revenue will be donated to a different cause, charity, or organization each month. October's beneficiary is the Luskarton Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash advertising or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. Strangelo to kick it deep with Silva and Branch and Okito back deep to receive. Kick is a high short one, again fielded by one of the upbacks at this time of the 26. Dodging one tackle across the 30 and to the 31 yard line. That is Thomas Urquhart, a junior out of Bridgewater, Mass. With the return. Buck 25 to go. Let's see if Milton can get a score here before halftime. They will get the ball to start the second half. They have their timeouts. Taking the snap is Beesmer looking left, fires, and it's complete. The first pass completion of the ball game for either side of the 40-yard line. It is a pickup of nine, and the completion is to number 10, Marcus Falcone, sophomore out of Canton, Mass., and we have a timeout called by Milton. Milton. 
113 to go in the first half. Again, timeout by the Mustangs. It has been all Spartans thus far. A.J. Dillon out gaining the entire Mustang offense by his lonesome. What, 19 carries, 154 yards, and four touchdowns for Dillon. As Milton goes to work second and one from their own 40. Beesmer looking right under pressure, fires left. It's complete once again to Falcone, and he gets out of bounds across midfield to the LA 48. It's a pickup of 12. And Milton Academy showing some urgency, trying to get back into this game. Before halftime, clock stopped at 108. Forty-eight yard line of the Spartans. Pistol formation. Beesmer in front of Silva takes the shot, takes the snap, steps up, runs over the middle. Forty-five dances across the forty to the thirty-nine yard line. One minute to go and a timeout called by Milton. I'll mark him down at the 40, actually, not the 39. It's a gain of eight for Alec Beesmer, who's had some good runs. He's just had trouble throwing the ball. He's carried it five times for 35 yards. He's completed his last two passes, but was... Incomplete on the first four. And that includes one interception by Tom Zaleski. It'll be second and two out of the timeout with 57 seconds to go in the first half. And Milton threatening. Down 27 to 7. They've been dillon today. Pistol formation. Beesmer in front of Silva takes the snap, looking over the middle. And now he fires over the middle, and it's complete to Greg Livingston. Dodges a tackle and gets into the red zone at the 19 yard line. A pickup of 21. And another timeout for Milton Academy. I believe they have one left with 49 seconds to go and they're in the red zone for the first time today. Well, you don't want to get complacent if you're in the Lawrence Academy defense and it certainly feels like they've, they've consigned it. They don't want to get consigned to the fact that they're going to be up 20 going into the halftime break. Got to come up with a stop here or else Milton Academy will have all the momentum going halftime. And remember, they get the ball to start the second half. So two wideouts to the near side right, one to the far side left, pistol formation. Beesmer in front of Silva, takes the snap, looks left, fires on a fade row to the corner of the end zone, and it's incomplete. Justin Green. Pass is too strong for him. With coverage on the play by Maurice Works. Second and 10 from the 19, clock stopped at 44 seconds. Two wideouts to the near side right, one to the far side left. Pistol formation once again. B 
Beesmer in front of Silva. Beesmer claps his hands, takes the snap, looks over the middle. Now it's flush from the pocket, rolling right, and he's going to reverse field to the left side. He's going to fire on the run, and the pass is broken up. Works doing some work. Staying with that play and getting in front of the intended receiver, Frederick Okito. I think Milton Academy is lucky that pass is incomplete. Not, not that Works was necessarily going to intercept it, but that could have been knocked back all the way to the 40-yard line. So it's third and 10. Thirty-four seconds to go. Three wideouts to the near side right, one to the far side left. Pistol formation. Beesmer in front of Silva. Silva sends a man in motion to the far side left. That's Livingston. Pressure up the middle. He fires over the middle, and the pass is complete for a touchdown to Mike uh, to Justin Green. Sharon Daly Harris le leaped up to get a hand on it, but deflected right into Green's hands for the touchdown, a 19-yard completion. <laughs> 27 seconds to go. Park on to attempt the extra point for Lawrence Academy. Snap is down, kick is up, and with plenty of room to spare, it is good. With 27 seconds to go in the first half, Lawrence Academy 27, Milton Academy 14. This is Nepsack Football and Local Sports Productions. You can follow LSP on the web at www.localsportsproductions.com, facebook.com slash localsportsproductions, and on Twitter at LSP37. Well, I have a feeling this is just going to be a couple of knees, or maybe just one knee, for Paul Zakoskis' team. Park to tee it up. Daly Harrison Smith back deep to receive. Daly Harris setting up at the 10. And Smith at the 5 on the near side. Park boots it on a line drive, and this is going to be fielded inbounds at about the 16-yard line by Daly Harris. Getting a couple blocks, has some room, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, no flags! He's going to run it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown! 84 yards for Sharon Daly Harris! And so much for the two-minute drill Four minutes uh, from Milton Academy. LA gets the score right back. That gives Daly Harris 105 kick return yards on the ball game and Anthony Mastrangelo to attempt the extra point. I would like him to get it here. So it could be a 20 yard so it could be a 20 point lead but of course you'd rather have it be a 21 point lead and you may see him attempt a two pointer in the near future as the snap is high kick is down kick is up and it is good <coughs> 13 seconds to go and what a response by Sharon Daly Harris with the 84 yard touchdown return 13 seconds to go LA 34 Milton 14, so much for seeing those knees from Paul Sikoskis' team. That swings momentum right back in L.A.'s favor. Uh, 
Mastrangelo had a little bit of an adventure kicking today, but let's see if he can get a good one off here and see if the coverage team can prevent a, a response from Milton. It's going to be a low line drive that's fielded at the 30 by Milton Academy. And it's still some room to run here for Jalen Branch. Still on his feet, but he gets across the 45 to the 47-yard line before Thomas Greeny brings him down. Now, excuse me, that was Josh Arruda, sophomore of Jaffrey, New Hampshire. Three seconds to go. After a 17-yard return by Branch. And it looks like uh, Milton Academy's lining up with wideouts. They've got four safeties deep, and they're just going to hand it off to Silva. He gets across the 50 to the 49-yard line, and that will be the first half, an entertaining first half. All told, four touchdowns by one A.J. Dillon and an 84-yard kick return touchdown by Sharon Daly-Harris to cap off a wild first half. Two touchdowns for Milton Academy. One by Silva on a 38-yard touchdown rush. And the other on a tip drill pass reception for, 20, for 19 yards by Justin Green. So we'll be back in about 14 minutes with the second half of this ball game from Lawrence Academy, Groton, Mass. Lawrence Academy Spartans 14, uh, 34 and the Milton Academy Mustangs 14. This is NEPSAC football on local sports productions. Welcome back to the second half of NEPSAC Football on Local Sports Productions. Sam Feely here with you from Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass. As the LA Spartans have a 34-14 lead on the Milton Academy Mustangs. <clears throat> and the second half kickoff with Milton going right to left is fielded at about the 14-yard line. And bouncing off a couple of tackles is Silva. And he gets across the 30 to the 31-yard line. And that is where Milton Academy will start its first drive of the first half. Down 34 to 14, mostly in large part to A.J. Dillon's four, uh, four touchdown rushes, 15 carries, 158 yards, four touchdowns. And then just as they got back into the game uh, with about... 20 seconds left in the first half with a two-minute drill and a touchdown reception to cut the lead to uh, 27 to 14. Sharon Daly-Harris had a 84-yard uh, kick return to end the first half. Swing pass out to, that's no, not Silva, it's, uh, <coughs> it's going to be a one-yard gain as I try to reconfigure all my... Uh, Stat sheets. As a pass completion for one yard. Ah, everything is falling apart here. <laughs> All right, so that was uh, Frederick Okito making his first catch of the ball game for one yard. And Alec Beesmer in the pistol. Two wide outs to the far side right, one to the near side left. Hands it off to Silva. And no, it's going to be Beesmer with the keeper. Tries to lean out to the 40, but he was stopped at the 39-yard uh, line. That'll be a pickup of seven, and it'll be third and two. Milton Academy going right to left. Navy blue helmets, white jerseys, navy blue pants with orange numbers and trim. The handoff to Silva plowing ahead up the middle for a first down across the 40 to the 44-yard line of Milton Academy. It's a pickup of five. And it'll be first and ten for the Mustangs. Beesmer completed four of nine passes for a t with a touchdown and an interception, 61 yards all told. 
Completed his first pass of the first half, but that was only for one yard on the swing pass to Okido. Takes the snap, looks left, now looks right, fires, and it is just out of the reach of the man who caught his touchdown pass, Justin Green, diving at the 35-yard line of Lawrence Academy, but unable to make a one-handed grab. So 5 of 11 thus far passing for Alec Beesmer, the sophomore, uh, the junior quarterback, I should say, out of Kingston, New York, standing 6 1, 180. Hand off to the left side to Silva, trying to get to the 50 yard line, churning his legs. Looks like he's going to get stood up at the 48 yard line, and that will be a gain of four and make it third and six. Forty-eight yard line of Milton, third and six. First drive of the second half. Milton Academy trailing by twenty. Two and zero oh in their first two ball games. Same for Lawrence Academy, but LA looking like a stronger team by far thus far. Here's Beesmer on the handoff. No, it's a keeper off the left side. Gets across the fifty, and is he at the first down? He was marked down in bounds. Good sweeping tackle there at the legs by Cam Reddy. And they mark him a yard short of the first down. At the 47 of Lawrence Academy. And I think you got to go for it here. The offense is still on the field. Lawrence Academy bench and players urging the fans to cheer them on. Make some noise for this big fourth down play. 8.45 and counting. Both Beesmer and Silva have been good rushing the ball, but they're going in the, sh in the pistol formation here. And they might have drawn him offside. The flag is down, and it's gonna, they're probably going to take the penalty. They would have gotten the first down anyway, but I think they're going to take the offside penalty here and just get the five-yard gain. And that's the first defensive penalty on the Lawrence Academy Spartans, and that'll give Milton a first down. Good hard count there by Beesmer. So the ball's moved up to the 42-yard line. of Lawrence Academy. Clock running at about eight minutes to go. Man in motion to the far side right. They'll fake the handoff. Now they'll pitch it on the reverse. It's snuffed out in the backfield. Jake Busco wrapping up Greg Livingston in the backfield for a loss of five back to the 47 of L.A. Second and 15 for the Mustangs. Pistol formation, two to the near side left, one to the far side right. Milton going right to left, and the pass is deflected, first by Peter Bryant of Lawrence Academy, and then in and out of the hands once again of Livingston, and it fell incomplete at about the 30-yard line. Third and 10 for the Mustangs. Uh, third and 15, I should say. Down 20. Are you in four down territory again here? At the 47 of Lawrence Academy, third and 15. Two wide outs to the far side right, one to the near side left. Pistol formation, Beesmer in front of Silva, man in motion. And we have a whistle and a flag before the snap. And it is going to be dead ball, false start on... Milton Academy, so that'll back them up five yards to the to their own 48 and make it third and 20. 
So just as the fourth down offside penalty gave them momentum, they've been backed up 10 yards. And this is a definite passing situation as they have three wideouts to the far side right and one to the near side left. Pistol formation again, man in motion to the far side left. That's Livingston, back to pass as Beesmer under pressure, gets away from one tackle, a second tackle, still rolling to his left, gets away from a third, fires, ball is tipped, and it is complete! It's not enough for a first down, but what a great job by Beesmer to keep the play alive. And he found Green at the 37 yard line of Lawrence Academy for a gain of 15, but it's still not enough for a first down. And the offense is still out there, fourth and five. They've had the ball for about five and a half minutes here. Uh, an offside penalty would give them a first down. Two wide outs to the near side right, one to the far, or near side left rather, one to the far side right. Man in motion, fake the handoff on the end around, firing down the left field line, looking for Green, and it's batted away by Works. Maurice Works once again doing work on that throw down the left sideline. We saw him do it on the uh, on the touchdown drive, breaking up a pass attempt that was also intended for Green. And he does it again here. So a turnover on downs. And that'll give LA the ball first and 10 at their own 37. And we have a whistle and a timeout called by Lawrence Academy. So Paul Zakoskis' club gonna figure out what are they gonna do to you know, put them out to pasture here, getting a fourth down stop, and now with a chance to possibly put it out of reach. 6-12 to go in the third quarter, LA 34, Milton 14. This is Knapsack Football on Local Sports Productions. Advertising opportunities are available on Local Sports Productions. Get your company's message on air or on localsportsproductions.com for as little as $25 per ad. In addition, a portion of all advertising revenue will be donated to a different cause, charity, or organization each month. August's beneficiaries is... Uh, August? Why am I saying August? Jeez. Still in Blue Sox mode. October's beneficiary is the Lust Garden Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash advertising or email Sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. Here is A.J. Dillon in the Wildcat across the 35-40-45. He makes a turn at the 50-45-40. Skips through a tackle. 35-30, 25-20, 15-10-5. He does it again! Touchdown, Spartans, 63 yards. That puts A.J. over the 200-yard mark. His fifth touchdown rush of the ball game. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why he is the number one rated football prospect in Massachusetts. Four-star running back commit to the big house in Michigan. Hail to the victors indeed. Mastrangelo on to attempt the extra point out of the hold from Daly Harris. Snap is down. Kick is up. It is high, and it is just inside the left upright and good. And with 5.53 to go in the, first, in the third quarter, it is the Lawrence Academy Spartans 41 and the Milton Academy Mustangs 14. This is Nepsack Football on Local Sports Productions. Want LSP to taper broadcast your team's games? Rates start at just $50 per game. Video broadcasts also available. Visit localsportsproductions.com slash services or email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. K 
Kickoff is away. It's going to be fielded at about the 15-yard line by Livingston. Gets out of a couple of tackles and gets across the 30 to maybe the 34, 35-yard line. So after a fourth down stop, L.A. gets a quick touchdown from A.J. Dillon. And here's Silva on the first play from scrimmage of this drive. And he gets across the, gets to the 35-yard line, a pickup of two. And it'll be second and eight. A.J. Dillon again over 200 yards on 20 carries and five touchdowns. Just another A.J. Dillon game. Easy game for that young kid, but not going to get any easier in the Big Ten. Pass down the left sideline is incomplete, intended for Livingston. He hops onto the, uh, ledge, the uh, cobblestone ledges behind the L.A. bench. Incomplete pass, and it'll be third and eight for the Mustangs. We have 4.44 to go in this third quarter. This is not how they drew up this effort after getting that, um, getting that touchdown with about 20 seconds left in the first half. And then two big runs, one on the kickoff return by Daly Harris at the end of the first half, and then... The 63-yard rush on the first play. And actually, we had a penalty on uh, on that last play. It looked like pass interference. Uh, so I believe the call is pass interference. So it's going to be a first down for Milton Academy. So new life for the Mustangs. Fake the handoff on the end around, and they give it to Silva. And he is hit hard in the backfield. He may have fumbled the ball, but they rule him down as Buzzco comes in to make the stop behind the line of scrimmage. It is a three yard loss and it'll be second and 13. Dylan was playing linebacker on that play, comes off for a swig of Gatorade. 350 and counting here in the second, uh, third quarter rather. In the pistol is Beesmer. Looks left, fires, and it is complete to Okito, and he gets across the 50. He loses the ball again, but again, the official rules him down. Across the 50 to the 48-yard line of Lawrence Academy. It is a pickup of seven, and it'll be third and three. Okito making a second reception of the ball game. He's got eight yards total. Two wideouts to the near side left, one to the far side right. Pistol formation, Beesmer in front of Silva. And Beesmer takes the snap, fakes the handoff to Silva, rolls right, fires to the right side, and it's complete to Livingston. It escapes a couple tackles, stiff arms the defender, and gets down to the 15-yard line. So Livingston with another big pickup. Gets 33 yards on that one. It's the longest pass play of the game for the Mustangs. And they're in the red zone. First and 10 from the LA 15. 235 and counting here in the third quarter. Two wideouts to the far side right, one of the near side left. Man in motion to the far side left is Livingston. And they'll throw right to Livingston, and it and a bit of a duck snort there for a throw. And it fell, it was a wobbler, and it fell well short of him, about five yards short. So it'll be second and ten on the incomplete pass. Beesmer 
Beesmer is 8 of 17 yards. Uh, 8 of 17 completions, rather. Over 100 yards passing as a touchdown, but also an interception. Thankfully for the Mustangs, that interception proved not to be costly. But they still find themselves down a hefty margin as the pass over the middle is incomplete. Intended for Green. There was coverage on the play by Daly Harris. And pressure from the uh, from his blind side, from Beesmer's blind side, by uh, not more, Maurice Works, but... Uh, Is that Owen Johnson? No, that's not Owen Johnson. That's uh, Cam Reddy, junior out of Londonderry, New Hampshire. Third and ten for the Mustangs. Two wide outs on the near side left, one to the far side right. Pistol formation. Beesmer takes the snap, looks left, fires up top, looking for Livingston. It's too strong for him. Offense is going to stay on the field, it looks like. Park not coming onto the field for a field goal. It's 2.04. 2.04 o'clock stopped here in the third quarter. Will the Lions stall deep in LA territory again? Two wideouts to the near side left, one to the far side right. Beesmer sends a man in motion. It's Livingston. Fakes the handoff to him. Looks left. Fires over the middle. And it's intercepted by Gwen Smith. He gets away from a couple of tacklers. Uh, is that a flag on the field or a turnover flag? But Glenn Smith gets it out to about the 29-yard line. And it's been that kind of day for Melton. Mark him down at the 30. It's a 29-yard interception return for Smith. Second interception of the ball game for the L.A. defense. And it's going to be handed off to Dillon across the 30 and gets maybe to the 33-yard line. And that will probably put a wrap on this game. <clears throat> as Looks like L.A. is probably going to run out this quarter and then it will be up 27 in the fourth <clears throat> to start the fourth. And as Brady Martin comes back onto the field. Pickup of three on the last carry for Dillon. It's second and seven at the 33. Martin under center takes the snap, hands it off up the middle to Glenn Smith across the, gets to the 35. And they'll mark him down there. Two yard gain for Smith. And it'll be third and five. So they'll have to run one more play before the quarter is out. A lot of athletics events going on here at Lawrence Academy today. Uh, I don't know if he was saying this in jest, but Chris Johnson was telling me maybe about like 40 different athletics events going on on campus today. Third and five, pitch to Smith on the outside. Gets across the 35 and is tripped up right at the 40-yard line. That is exactly enough for a first down. And we, that will end the first quarter after they move the chains and restart the clock again. And that will do it for the fourth quarter. <clears throat> I think it's a mere formality at this point, unless Milton Academy gets a huge miracle together. We've played three. It is the Lawrence Academy Spartans 41 and the Milton Academy Mustangs 14. This is Knapsack Football on Local Sports Productions.
You can follow LSP on the web at www.localsportsproductions.com, facebook.com slash localsportsproductions, and on Twitter at LSP37. Just tuning in? Well, missed quite a show by A.J. Dillon, but I think and what else is new? Started out kind of slow with a couple of fumbles on some exchanges for him, but oh, over the 200-yard mark on 21 carries and five touchdowns. They gave Smith the 41-yard line of Lawrence Academy on that last rush, so L.A. will start the fourth quarter going right to left, first and 10 at their own 41. Martin will pitch to Smith, cross the 40, and tripped up before he can get to the 45-yard line. I'll mark him down at the 44, a gain of three, and it will be second and seven. So you probably think, figure A.J. Dillon's day is done. For the most part. Bunch formation to the near side left, one receiver to the far side right. May have been some early movement, no flag. Smith trying to get outside, he's brought down in the backfield. No gain, and it'll be third and seven. So, unless... Dillon gets a couple more carries in garbage time. It'll be 21 carries, 220 yards, and five touchdowns. Oh, here is Dillon. He's on the field. Across the 45, plowing forward across the 50, and he's got a first down at the 49. Didn't see him on there for, on the field initially, but came on, got the first down, and they mark him down at the 48. They needed seven. He got eight. So 228 yards for Dillon. And he's back, uh, back in the huddle. So much for his day being done. As Brady Martin comes out to deliver the play call to his huddle. Into Milton Academy territory are the Spartans at their 48-yard line, first and 10. And they'll pitch it again to Dillon, and he is wrapped up in the backfield. He fumbles the ball, and it's going to be picked up, thankfully for Lawrence Academy, by Martin. That's a huge loss. It is a loss of 12 on the play overall, as Dillon was held up by his ankles and then took a hit up top, and that jarred the, bar loose, uh, jarred the ball loose. And Martin was there to pick it up. So we have a timeout called by Lawrence Academy with 9.08 to go in the fourth quarter. L.A. 41, Milton 14. This is Knapsack Football on Local Sports Productions. LSP's next broadcast is Saturday, October 22nd at 2.55 p.m. when the BBNN Knights visit the Lawrence Academy Spartans in NEPSAC football action. Listen live at localsportsproductions.com slash livestream, then download or stream the game the next day at localsportsproductions.com slash on demand. So it looks like L.A. is going to go to 3-0, and 2-0 in the ISL, and... Melton Academy is going to fall to two and one. All their games coming in the ISL. 
Second and 22 for the uh, for the Spartans, rather. I formation. As Martin looks left, fires complete to Daly Harris. Stops short of the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 44. Uh, no, excuse me, not uh, pickup to the 44. A pickup of four. And that is Martin's first pass completion. It's been pretty much... It's been all rushing except for those four passing yards just now. For Martin, third and 18. Snap to Martin in the shotgun. Gets some protection. Fakes the pass. Fires over the middle. It's complete. And we've got some room to run here for Cam Reddy. And he is stopped at the 36-yard line of Milton Academy. Took a check down pass then bailed over a couple of defenders. It's a pickup of 20. First time that Reddy has touched the ball on offense today. He's made a couple good defensive plays as well. I formation here with Smith as the tailback. He takes this. He takes the handoff off the right side of the 30, across the 25, still on his feet. It stumbles to the 20-yard line. We have a flag on the play back at the 31, and it is holding on who? Lawrence Academy, I believe, as they're looking back towards the Melton bench. And that'll bring the ball back to the 41-yard line of Milton. As that'll negate a first down rush. And it'll be first and 15 as officially it'll be a, com it'll be a rush of five for Smith and then the 10-yard penalty. Ball at the 41 of Milton, first and 15. And the handoff goes to Smith up the middle. Runs into his own blocker, Buzzco, and then gets brought down by Ben Handy of Milton Academy, getting to the 36-yard line. It'll be second and 10. Another five-yard rush for Smith. And it looks like A.J. Dillon will come back onto the field. Great thing about A.J. Dillon is that he's and got the speed and moves to be, you know, feature back, but he's also got the bruising strength and short yard situations. I formation, second and 10, pitch to Dillon. Goes off tackle across the 35 to the 30, nearly brought down by the horse collar to the 25 yard line, and that'll be enough for a first down. Pickup of 11 for Dillon. Up to 239 yards on the ground. Actually, actually 240 even. They gave him the 24-yard uh, the line. 547 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Handoff is to Smith, off right guard across the 20-yard line to the 19. A pickup of five, and it'll be second and five. Smith, 14 yards for seven, uh, 14 carries for 70 yards, and even five yards per carry average. L.A. taking their time to get these plays in. Just whittle down the clock. Smith, the tailback. And in front of him is the fullback, James Miller. Handoff to Smith. Off right tackle. Stumbles across the 20. And it stops short of the 15-yard line. Give him the 16. It's a pickup of three. <clears throat> and it'll be third and two. Ball 
as we approach the four minute mark. Martin back in to call the play. Freshman from Randolph, Mass. Excuse me, from Lemonster. Uh, I'm looking at Sharon Daly Harris for a second. Freshman from Lemonster. I formation. And they'll fake the pitch to the fullback and then give it to Smith. And he gets close to the 10 yard line to the 11. And that's enough for a first down. Smith a little slow to get up. And it's another five yard gain for Smith. 338 and counting. And LA knocking on the doorstep of another touchdown. It's been five scores for AJ Dillon, all <coughs> rushing touchdowns, and then an 84 yard kickoff return for a touchdown by Sharon Daly Harris. Offset eye formation, and the new running back is Jackson Avila Con Connerney, freshman from Newton, from Newton, Mass. And he is wrapped up in the backfield. He loses one yard, and it'll be second and 11. Again, L.A. in no hurry to get a playoff. Jackson Avila Connerney, again, freshman. 5'11", buck 73. And we're going to have a new fullback as Joseph Fontanella will check in. Big guy, 6'6", 181 out of Littleton, Mass, nearby. Next town east of here in Groton. Offset eye formation with Avila Connerty in the backfield. And they'll fake the hand off to the fullback and give it to Avila Connerty. And he gets across the 10-yard line to the 9. It'll be a pickup of 3. And it'll be third and eight. Under two minutes to go. <clears throat> Wonder if uh, you'd ask Mr. Angelo to kick a field goal here. I formation. Avila Connerney on the pitch to the outside. On the right side, he's wrapped up in the backfield again. Behind the 10-yard line. On the tackle there, coming up from the cornerback position was Okido. And he's wrapped up at the 10-yard line, a loss of one. And I think they're just uh, marking down the 11, actually. Loss of two. So, LA down to a fourth down. They can get a first down without getting a touchdown, but of course, this point's moot as we're under a minute to go. Under center is Martin. Takes the snap, hands off to Avila Connor, and he's trying to bounce outside, and he is stopped. At the 11-yard line, a turnover on downs, but <clears throat> nothing to nothing really to worry about for Paul Zakoskis and his team, as they are 38 seconds away from their third victory of the season, and it looks like another 3-0 th uh, start for the Spartans and. Looking to get into a Nepsack Bowl game and win a bowl game for the third consecutive year. First team offense out there for the Mustangs as they start this drive at their own 12. Hand off to the new running back, actually, Kalel Mullings. And he's got some room to run down the near sideline. And this could be... A stiff arms run defender gets away from another, and he's going to run to the end zone for a touchdown. 89 yards for Kalel Mullings, the freshman out of West Roxbury, Mass. And if you're Milton Academy, you're wondering 
Where was that effort during the uh, during the rest of the game? Min Q Park on to attempt the extra point for the Mustang. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. 18 seconds to go. Lawrence Academy 41, Milton 21. So with that carry, Mullings is actually the leading rusher. For the spark for the for the Mustangs this game. So we'll have a kickoff and uh, assuming LA recovers it, we'll just have a knee and then we'll call it a ball game. Milton Academy kicking left to right here, and they'll squib it, and it will go out of bounds at about the 24-yard line. Be an illegal procedure penalty, but I don't think LA's going to make them re-kick here. And it's just going to be a knee, and that will do it, so... We'll just see Jacob Martin take a knee to make it official. And we will tell you that our player of the game, well, who else? A.J. Dillon, 23 carries, 239 yards, and five touchdowns. Averaging over 10 yards a carry. Another big day for the Michigan commit and the star of this Lawrence Academy football team for the past three years. So... With the win, Lawrence Academy improves to 3-0, 2-0 -0 in the ISL. And with the loss, Milton Academy falls to 2-1 all of their games in the ISL. Mentioned Dylan, but let's also give a shout-out to Sharon Daly-Harris with some good plays on defense. <clears throat> and that 84-yard kick return... Uh, uh, yeah, the 84-yard kick return for a touchdown... That gave L.A. the momentum back to end the second half after Milton had just scored to cut the lead to, te uh, to two touchdowns. So, <clears throat> my voice is cracking again. All right, so with that said, this has been a presentation of local sports productions serving greater Boston student-athletes. Copyright 2016, unauthorized redistribution of any portion of this broadcast without the express written permission of local sports productions is strictly prohibited. LSP's next broadcast is, is Saturday, October 22nd at 2.55 p.m. when the BBN Knights visit the same Lawrence Academy Spartans in NEPSAC football action. Listen live at localsportsproductions.com slash live stream, then download or stream the game the next day at localsportsproductions.com slash on demand. Once again, the final score from Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass. The Lawrence Academy Spartans defeat the Milton Academy Mustangs 41-21. My name is Sam Feely. Thanks for tuning in.